Yeah, I, yeah, I bought my flashcards. Just so I just... I'm Perry and welcome to Mooncake, where ESL teaching is made easy. If you're new here then you need to know that I make weekly ESL teaching tip videos to help you improve your English teaching. So if you are teaching ESL online or abroad, make sure you subscribe below and hit that notification bell for weekly ESL teaching tips. Also, real quick, if you are new here, say hi in the comments below and let me know where in the world you're teaching. When you're a new teacher just starting out, it can be really tricky to know where to begin. Complicated flashcard games can be daunting, most especially if you're still learning how to manage your class successfully. But fear not, because today I'm sharing five simple yet effective ESL games that every teacher should know. So without further ado, let's get started. This first game is called Quick Flash, and it's exactly what it sounds like. Okay, maybe not exactly. Simply start by mixing up your flashcards, and you can involve the whole class in this by having them chant together. Mix, 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 mix. And then next, simply flash very quickly one flashcard to students who then have to tell you what it is they think they saw. Are you ready? Mix, 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 mix. <gasps> Are you ready? Three, two, one. <gasps> What was it? What was it? This next game is called the Slow Reveal, and it's the complete opposite of the Quick Flash game. Once again, all you're going to need are some flashcards of the vocabulary that you want to teach. Only this time, instead of quickly showing a flashcard to students, you're going to cover up the picture and slowly reveal it to students. Students then need to guess as quickly as possible what that picture is. With this game, you can reward points to the student that says the word the fastest, or split the class into two teams and turn it into a team game. What is it? Oh. No, 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 no. Guess what is it? What is it? What is it? Bing, 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 bing. Good job. It's a cow moo moo. It's a cow moo moo. This next game is called Quieter Louder, and all you're going to need are some flashcards of the vocabulary that you'd like to teach. To get started, you can introduce one word to students using chance and TPR as you do. If you're not sure what I mean by chance and TPR, then make sure you check out my video on TPR linked below. Next, you're going to have students continue to repeat that word again and again as you move your flashcard up into the air, getting louder and louder as you do. Once you reach that peak, you're going to start moving that flashcard downwards, getting quieter and quieter as you do. Remember to end this game on a quiet note so that it's easier to transition to the next activity. It's a cow moo moo. It's a cow moo moo. Are you ready? Cow. 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 This next activity is a great one to get students up and moving. All you're going to need are some flashcards of the vocabulary that you want to teach. To get started, introduce the flashcards one by one using chants and TPR as you do. Next, you're going to lay those flashcards out face up on the floor in front of you and invite one student to come to the front. That student then needs to jump on the flashcards one by one, shouting out the word as they do. Depending on your class size, you might want to have students come up one by one, or have the whole class line up in front of the line of flashcards. Think about your class and how best to manage it. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. All right. Let me try. Cow, horse, sheep, pig. This next game is called Simon Says Please, and it's a great one to work on students' listening skills. Explain to the class that you're going to give them different instructions and that they should only follow those instructions if they hear the word please. You can then give students some different instructions. For example, please touch your head, or 
please clap three times. If you don't say the word please and then students do that action, they are then out. Play again and again until you have one winner at the end. So there you have it, simple but effective ESL games that every teacher should know. If you like this video then go ahead and hit that like button and comment with the word helpful in the comments below. If you're looking for more fun ESL game ideas then make sure you check out some of my other videos right here. That's it for this video, thanks so much for watching. You can find me on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter, or if you're looking for some teacher resources such as flashcards, worksheets or PPT presentations, then make sure you check out the Mooncake English webpage linked below. Other than that, make sure you hit that subscribe button and notification bell for more weekly ESL teaching tips from Mooncake.